Okay, I'm going to show y'all a quick step-by-step -step how to make one-inch bottle cap images using GIMP. But first, you will open up your GIMP. Once that is open, you are going to need to open your template. You will need a template to do this. So if you don't have one, you need to Google search uh, one-inch bottle cap templates or go on Etsy and search one-inch bottle cap templates. And you can buy them there. Alright, so you're going to go to open and you're going to find wherever you saved your templates. I saved mine in a folder labeled templates so that it is easy to find. Alright, you're going to select your template and press open. After that, you're going to come over to your layers box. Right click on your little template image. Click new layer. All this should be already correct, so do not change anything up here. Make sure the transparency option is chosen and click OK. Once you do that, click. you're going to click your little green down arrow to move that layer behind it. That just allows you to, for when you add images, it's going to go behind this white instead of in front of it. Alright, and then we're going to start adding images. So I am going to start off with the background. So you're just going to open and find any image that you would like to add. I'm just going to go ahead and start off with like a solid color background. Just go with this one. And it's going to open it in a different window. So come down here to your windows and open the window your image went in. And you're going to right click, edit, copy. And then either you can close out of this if you're done, if you never if you're not going to use this again, or leave it open so that you can come back to it. I'm gonna leave it open just in case we want to use this background again. And then you come to your template, right click, edit, and paste. Now that if you want all of your backgrounds to be orange, you can leave it like this. But if you just want it to be a few square a few circles or one circle, You'll come over here to scale image, click the orange, move that box over there, and pull it. You just click and drag to whatever size you need it to. We're going to go with just one circle right now and scale it. You have to click scale for it to go down. Right. And then to anchor that layer there, you can also move it, click the move tool, and you can move this around to any circle that you have wanted on. We're going to leave it up here, and just to leave it there without moving, you'll see if you come over to your white, that there's this little anchor by your mouse, you can click it, and that will hold that layer there to where it cannot be moved anymore. Alright, and then you'll come to File, Open, and choose any other image that you may want on it. I think we are going to go with, sorry I have a lot of images on here, uh, we're going to go with a witch right now, and then we opened her, and she came up in a different box, so you're just going to click the one she came in, right click her, edit, and copy, and then you can close this out or minimize it if you're going to use it again, we're just going to close it out for right now. Now we're going to right click, edit, and paste, and that will bring her up. We're going to use the scale tool so that we can shrink her down to fit on the bottle cap. Get her to the size you need. Click scale. Click your move tool and move her <coughs> to wherever you want her. Now if you want to be able to see up closer, you have a zoom down here at the bottom of your screen. I usually like to zoom it to 50 so I can see. And you see she's a little stretched out there so we're just going to get her to the size we need, click scale, and you're done with that. Now if you want more stuff in the background, just she'll be the last thing you add. You can add different colors or anything else you want to in the background and then put your final image on top. She would be our final image. Right, and now if you want 
this image in several circles. Just click her, edit, copy, and then click anywhere on the template, edit, and paste. Now you just move, which puts down two of her, and you just move her wherever you would like her. And all this gray square in the background will print white. So all that is white. So if I just left this right here, she would just be on a white circle. And I think that's about it. You just do that on each circle until you've made what you would like to make. And while we're here, I'm just going to show you a few things that you might be confused about or might want to know. Okay, if you, these boxes right here, if you ever close your toolbox or your layers box, how to get them back open is press up here, windows, recently closed docs, then open your layers box, and then open your toolbox. And that's how you get them back up really fast. And let's see, if you have an image that has a background that you don't want on it. Let's see, let's go find something. Um, like this, and you don't want that white background on it, just pull it up, and you're going to want to zoom in very far. So we're going to zoom in to about 400% just so that I can see all the lines. And then over here you're going to click this and if add alpha channel is available to click, you need to click it. This image already has an alpha channel which means it has a transparent background so I don't need to click it. Alright and then you're going to come up here, it's called the paths tool and you want to click it. And then you're just going to go very slowly all the way around your image on whatever edge you want cut out. And you'll do this all the way around. This just allows you to put this onto any color background that you would like. You can do this with almost any image. And that way, if you don't like the background of an image, you can always cut it out and put it onto any one you would like. <clears throat> so we have that done. Now you'll click Selection from Path over here on your toolbox, Selection from Path, which will make it like this. Now you have two choices here. You can either right click, edit, and copy. I'll just show you what it'll do. And then right click, edit, and paste. And there you have a cutout image with no background. And you can put it anywhere you want. Now if you would like to reuse that image in other projects, then you're going to want to save it without the background. So once you do the selection, you're going to control I. Control I. Once you've done that, you have Control X, and that takes away that entire white background. Now to save it, you're going to go to File and Export. GIMP, you cannot save a save because you won't be able to use it. You have to do Export, which makes it a PNG file. So, and then you can save that wherever you would like. We're just going to save it as what it's called, and then click Export. And now it is saved on my computer with a transparent background. So that way, if I ever want to use it again, I don't have to cut it out again. Um, I think that's about it. Mostly it's a lot of copying and pasting. And resizing to whatever size you need. If you have any questions and don't know how to do something, please feel free to comment and I will try to get back to you 
as soon as I can. So what, we can do this here. If you want to do the same image multiple times without having to do everything I just did, then you always can right click it, edit, copy, edit, paste, and move it around. That way you can do it multiple times. And if you ever mess up and don't want to do something, there is always the undo button, which is very helpful. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Thank you for watching.